Hey everyone, Big Jano here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing the Anycubic Mega X how to series of videos, and today we're going to be showing you how to upgrade your extruder on your Anycubic Mega X with a Bontec BMG extruder. I did this upgrade a few weeks ago after my stock extruder finally gave out after two plus years, and looking through the community and seeing what everyone was upgrading on their machines, this Bontec BMG extruder was the one that a lot of people did and had a lot of success with. Um, but there wasn't a lot of information on how to install this on the machine. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be taking a look at how you take apart the old extruder on your machine and replacing it with the new Bontech extruder and getting everything set up correctly so you can continue to print with the machine and get some really good prints in the process. We'll be breaking this down step by step. So without further ado, let's get started. So taking a look at the contents of the box, you notice that this package is actually very small. You don't get a lot with this upgrade. You do get the extruder itself, which I was surprised how lightweight this thing is. This extruder is very lightweight and super small. You do get the three screws to mount on the sides. You get the extruder knob and the spring that comes with it. You get a new gear for the motor. And then you also get a support card with some information on it as well. You also get a card showing you proper orientation of the new gear you're supposed to install on the motor, which we'll get into in a little bit. So the first thing you'll want to do is remove the PTFE tube from the extruder. You then want to take an Allen key and unscrew the three screws that are holding the extruder in together. Once all three screws are removed, very carefully try to pull the cover off of the extruder. Be very careful as you don't want the spring from the spring-loaded mechanism to go flying out across the room. Trust me, I've learned from experience. Once the cover's off, feel free to take out the spring, the tension knob, the Bowden coupler, as well as that little plastic funnel that's inside there. You should now notice that the lever is the only thing left in the extruder assembly. So now you can remove the lever. Just be very careful removing it. It is a very tight fit. It does come out, but if you're not careful, it could go flying like it did here. Next, remove the large gear from the assembly. Once all the plastic components from the assembly are removed, you may now disconnect the motor from its wired connection. Now there was hot glue on this wired connection, so you're gonna have to remove the hot glue before taking it out. Uh, you're gonna need some scissors or some sharp shears to cut off the hot glue from it. Uh, once you do that, you should be able to unplug the wire, no problem. Once you remove the wire from the motor, you now have to remove the motor from the housing. To do this, all you have to do is unscrew the two or three bolts, I forget how many there are, uh, you unscrew them from the housing itself. Now you wanna be careful when you do this, you wanna hold onto the motor while you're unscrewing this so that the motor doesn't fall onto the bed and damage the bed, or if you have something underneath to kind of protect that, that would help as well. Uh, just be careful when the motor uh, gets unscrewed, you don't want it to fall and damage anything. Now that we've removed the motor from the assembly, we now need to remove the gear that's on the motor and replace it with the gear that came with the Bontech extruder. To do this, you're gonna need a one and a half millimeter Allen key to loosen the grub screw that holds that gear in place. Loosen that grub screw. You don't have to loosen it all the way, but if you do decide to take it out completely, make sure you do not lose it because you're gonna need that grub screw to tighten down the new gear onto the motor when you're done. One thing I realized while watching this footage is that there might be two grub screws Make sure you loosen both screws if there's two before trying to remove it. Now the gear and the bearing that holds onto the motor shaft are not gonna be able to be removed by hand once you loosen the grub screws. To do this, you're gonna need flathead screwdrivers of similar size. Then you're gonna take the tips of those screwdrivers and put them on the underside of the gear. And then you're gonna create a fulcrum to kind of force them off. You should be able to put some force on each side of the gear and the bearing so it slides off the shaft. Once that's done, slide on the new gear on the shaft all the way down and then tighten the grub screw to keep it in place. All right, we're now ready to assemble the rest of the extruder housing using the three bolts that Bontech provides us in the kit. To install the new extruder assembly, you're basically going to do the reverse of how you took it apart. You're going to start with the motor and reconnect the motor to the motor cable. Then while holding the motor in place, you're going to want to take the inside and outside layers of the extruder housing and kind of line them up together and at that point, you're gonna take the three screws and screw them all together in place. You're gonna to screw everything down until it's nice and tight. 
and that should be it. Once the main housing is reassembled, you may now close up the lever gear mechanism by taking the thumb screw that came with the kit and screwing it in. Remember, this is your tensioner knob for the new extruder, so you want to twist this in until it's not going to be able to come out on its own. However, you don't want it too tight as it's going to create too much tension on the filament when extruding. You want a nice balance, so I would play around with this a little bit. This is also a good time to make sure that the extruder gear teeth and the rotating gear teeth are lining up and meshing together so everything moves easily. Once that's done, all we have left to do is reinsert our PTFE tubing. Make sure it is seated all the way down inside the extruder as far as it can go, and make sure the coupler is keeping it in place. At this point, you'll have two more very important steps you'll have to do before you can start printing. The first thing you'll need to do is change your E-step values and your printer's firmware settings. To do this, you're going to want to connect your printer via USB cable to your PC and open up a software like Printerface to open up its firmware values. Select the right port your printer is connected to and then click connect at the top. Once that's connected, you should see a list of your settings come up to the far right side. From there, you want to find the input command tab on the bottom right side of your screen and then type in the letter number combination values you see on the screen exactly how you see them. One line at a time, you're going to type in M92 and then a space and then E415 into the command line and click enter. That's going to set up your new E-step value for the new extruder. And then you're going to type in M500 on another command line, hit enter again, and that's going to save that updated firmware setting for your printer. The second thing you have to do is just open up Cura and adjust your attraction speed settings. Bottech recommends for the BMG extruder to set your speed at 35 millimeters per second, which is this setting right here. So all you have to do is change the number to 35, resave your profile, and you're good to go here. One final note before you start printing with your new extruder, please make sure that your hot end does not have any partial clogs or any clogs whatsoever. I ran into this issue when I first tested out the new extruder, and I didn't realize I had a partial clog in the hot end, and I had a lot of skipping in the extruder trying to feed filament in, and ultimately ended up blowing out the heat break in my hot end uh, as I was trying to print and load filament in, and it created a little bit of mess, a little bit of a setback. Um, I realized after replacing the hot end completely that the partial clog was the reason for this, along with tightening down the tensioner knob too tightly and causing a buildup of pressure. Regardless, just make sure you don't have any clogs in your hot end so you can prevent any of this mess from what I just had to go through. And there you have it. That's how you install a Bontech BMG extruder on your Anycubic Mega X. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope this was straightforward enough for everybody to understand. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. However, if you're still running into any problems or have any additional questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want, you can also drop into my live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bigjano. I live stream there a few nights a week where we game 3D print and hang out with the community at large. Feel free to ask me any questions there about 3D printing and that link is in the description. So come on by. As always, if you enjoyed this video or any of the other content I've made in the past, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet done so. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when new content is on its way. Also, if you haven't yet checked out any of the other Anycubic Mega X how-to videos, there'll be a link up above for you to take a look at and dive into the other topics we've covered already. Thank you all again for watching. I greatly appreciate your support and every single one of you. I'll catch you all in the next video. And until next time, keep doing it big.